Okay, now that you've installed your DVR card and rebooted your computer, Windows is going to present you with the found new hardware wizard because it's detecting the DVR card and it needs to install a driver for it. So in the options that show up in the wizard, go ahead and choose the first one, uh, which is yes this time only. And click next. And choose install the software automatically. Click next and it'll go through its process and in the hardware installation window that pops up click continue anyway okay and go ahead and click OK. OK, in the window that comes up, you're going to have to manually choose where to find the driver. Uh, it, it's a fairly simple process. It, 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 Okay, in the window that comes up, you're going to need to click the Browse button and choose the driver. It, it, it already knows the location by default. You just have to click it and select it like that. Click Open, then OK, and then it'll continue the process. And it'll say Completing, and you can click Finish. And you're going to repeat this process again. You may have to repeat it several times depending on the number of channels on your card. So again, click yes, this time only, next, choose install the software automatically, click next, you know, go through the process. And the hardware installation window, click continue anyway, click browse, select the driver, click open then click OK and then click finish OK now the drivers have been installed and we can go ahead and install the software from the software CD uh, your CD may be open on your desktop already I'm gonna go to start my computer and my disk is here. It's called D1 V616. I'm going to double click that to show the contents. And I'm going to open up the folder D1 software package V616. Double click that. And I'm going to double click the setup file to launch the installer. Click next, next, you may, you may see a, a message come up saying read only file detected. You can just click, just click yes. Sometimes that'll come up if you had a previous installation on your hard drive, you, you just click yes. And it'll it'll go through the process of installing the software. And that's it. Uh, after you finish the installation, you need to restart and I'm going to go ahead and click finish and my computer will restart and then the software should boot automatically and we'll go through that process. Okay, I've rebooted my machine and the DVR software should actually launch on its own and you know, it'll take it'll take a minute or so and you should get a screen that looks like this. 
and that's that's pretty much it as far as installation goes um the only the only other thing that uh, is really relevant at this point you want to make sure that you're recording to a different drive than your primary drive with your operating system on it um so i'm going to go ahead and click settings and under system setup you'll see recording disk uh, by default it's probably going to go to the C drive I'm going to go ahead and choose E which does not have my operating system on it and go ahead and click save and return parameters have been modified save changes you want to click yes and that's it uh, we'll, we'll go over uh, we'll, we'll do an overview of the main screen in the next tutorial so you know how to find all the different functions in the software